All righty, so we have a huge update today. We have one of those preparing for your future enjoyment signs that have popped up at Canada's Wonderland um, this weekend. And we have a really exciting haunt updates that I'm going to give you some uh, <laughs> uh, views of, as well as um, the new haunt store and a little snapping turtle baby that we found at Canada's Wonderland, which was adorable at the very end. So stay tuned for all that. Um, but first, uh, a sign that has popped up at Canada's Wonderland, please excuse our appearance as we prepare for a future experience has popped up. Um, and for those of you that know my previous videos, I talked about a Harmony Hall coming to Vortex Hill, and I also talked about a dark ride experience flying theater potentially coming to Action Theater. Um, I was starting to lose hope of that, I'm going to be honest. I was really starting to lose hope and thinking that it was pushed back to 2023. Um, but now we are seeing signs that maybe that isn't the case anymore, or it's just going to take a lot longer to build than normal, and they're just starting early. Um, or it's a Whitewater Canyon re-theme like Knott's Berry Farm. It could be any one of those. Um, it could be future preparation for even like a Ghost Town Alive experience coming into the middle part of Whitewater Canyon. Um, who knows? It could be so many different things. It is not a coaster. It's not future prep for a coaster. It would have said preparing for... I, 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 they would have used different terminology. The experience definitely has flying theater written on it. Ghost Town Alive type of experience for Frontier Canada or a Whitewater Canyon themed upgrade. Um, this is one of the haunt uh, scare zones. It is literally set up exactly like a haunted house just outside. So really excited about that, seeing that Wonderland's kind of actually not just using generic scare zones. They have gone all out in terms of theming for this specific one that I'm showing you. So it's definitely really exciting. I'm gonna show you the other side of it here. They've incorporated Frontier Canada theming into this area, and it honestly looks really cool. They were still setting it up as we filmed over this fence. So I'm going to show you a little sneak peek. It looks amazing. Like, honestly, like, it's so cool. And then it turns into a little haunted house, uh, outdoor haunted house just down uh, on the splash path over there. So this looks really cool. Honestly, I was expecting it to be very, like, nonchalant. Um, because of the last minute change to just um, focused on scare zones. I was expecting them to just throw up like a few tombstones and stuff like that. But yeah, nonetheless, it looks like they're putting a lot of effort into it and that they were able to secure some funding to get some new um, set designs for these new scare zones. So definitely super excited about that. And I'm super excited about Howling Haunt this year just because it feels like it's been a really long time since I've been to Howling Haunt because of everything that's been going on. And maybe that's why I'm so impressed with everything. But, oh my goodness, I'm going to give you guys a tour of uh, the new haunt store at Front Gate because I already bought a few things. I bought this, like, skeleton phone and this skeleton a skull that literally looks like Krega, and then this king queen skull um so super excited about that they have the winterfest store already set up i think they're going to open it like they did in 2019 um so that's interesting and new as well and uh some of the old i mean not old some of the halloween haunt shows are being set up as well sink the jerk will be returning it looks like there could be a new version of Sink the Jerk also being built in the same area. So maybe to up capacity of Sink the Jerk is what they're aiming for. But yeah, here's the tour of the new Halloween Haunt store near Front Gate. And then there'll be a cute little clip of the Snapping Turtle near the end. If I sound exhausted or sick, I am, I've am. i worked literally 58 hours, by the way, this week. And then woke up at 6 a.m. to go to Canada's Wonderland from 7.30 a.m. until 9 p.m. today. And then I'm literally going back to five days straight of work. So I am exhausted and it's hitting me really hard. So I apologize for the really low enthusiasm in this video. Um, for those of you that were at Wonderland today, I am so very enthusiastic about Wonderland's future with that sign popping up. It's great news. Um, and stay tuned. I have uh, some cool videos coming out from the ACE event today. The interview with Peter, the head of construction and planning. So um, there's a lot of information in there. So stay tuned for that. We'll have that up either later tomorrow or um, Monday morning. But yeah, nonetheless, the merch is really cool in this shop and it's actually really reasonably priced. Like I was expecting like $100 like items like you see at the um, 
store in Medfair with their little sculptures of dragons and castles. They're really expensive. Those mugs are like $2.99, by the way. The sweaters, I think, is like one of the most expensive items at like $60. But they are so cool. Look at that design. Look at it. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, all the merch is so awesome. I love it so much. They did a really good job. And I definitely walked out. Uh, spending about $150 on my first shop at this store. So I definitely plan on spending more. I'm like a huge like nerd when it comes to beautiful Halloween designs like and crafts and stuff. So uh, this store was everything that I could have dreamed for. It was exactly like the Winterfest store, just Halloween themed with all the crazy, awesome Christmas merch they had for Winterfest. And um, yeah, like super excited. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else Halloween Haunt related that I need to go over. So we went over the new sign for 2022-2023 attraction. We went over Halloween Haunt set up, which is really exciting. Um, and uh, it, Winterfest will be happening. And they literally have <laughs> next to no prep time in between Halloween Haunt and Winterfest. So it's going to be crazy that they get the park switched on over to Winterfest in like a week and a half, I think it is. So um, definitely super excited. I'm, I I don't know about you. I know a lot, of our, a lot of people are talking about time flying by right now and the fact that it feels like summer just passes by. But I'm super excited for the fact that we're heading into Halloween Hunt and Winterfest. So um, I know that uh, I'm the only one in terms of that. But I love Winterfest so much. And I totally understand why people prefer the summer season over Winterfest. So don't hate me too much for my opinion. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we were over at Behemoth, and we noticed this little snapping turtle baby just walking on the, the pathway um, where a lot of guests were walking and standing. So uh, one of our people that was with us, Alex, uh, quickly moved it to safety into a grass area so it could go back down into the river. I didn't even know snapping turtles lived in that pond, so I was shocked when this little tiny, little tiny snapping turtle there... Uh, was right on the behemoth midway where the fast lane is, as you can see that yellow sticker. So thank you to Alex for saving the little snapping turtle baby. And thanks so much for watching this update. Hopefully you're having an amazing weekend, guys. Um, and thanks so much for watching my videos, even this one with such an unenthusiastic voice. I apologize. It's really just because I'm not feeling well. Um, so thank you so much for supporting us and watching this video. Comment down below um, what you would like to see in terms of future content because we are looking for some awesome ideas. And we have some new people that have joined the team that are going to be working on voiceovers.